Hey there DIY coders, welcome to HTML Quickie, where we try to teach you HTML like one plus one. Before we get started, I want you to check out down in the description below, there is a video there for people who are just getting started learning HTML or they have a very vague idea what the heck HTML is. I would recommend that you check that video to get you started, but if you're all good, we'll go ahead with this video. So to get you prepared, Let's have your text editor out, your browser open, and have both of those applications open to the file we'll be working on. Now to get you started, uh, let's have all this highlighted code copied into your text editor. If you need a moment to copy this, I recommend you pause the video. If uh, you're all good though, I will go ahead and teach you what a variable tag is. So let's type the variable tag out right now. It will look something like this, and then we'll put an X in between those uh, opening and closing tags. We'll save. All right, and my browser will automatically refresh. Uh, if you need to refresh, you go ahead. You can press the refresh button, or you can use the keyboard shortcut for that. Now we see the X in the browser, like we have it here, and it looks like uh, the X is italicized, but to have some visual confirmation, we'll make a P tag like so, and we'll put an X right above it, save, and it refreshes. And yeah, it looks like uh, this X is on a slab, so we know it's italicized. Uh, but there is also another tag. Uh, it's called the I tag or italics tag. Uh, and as the name suggests, uh, it will make the text italicized. So we'll double check to see if there's any differences at all, visually speaking. And and you'll notice uh, they look exactly the same. So now it brings you to wonder, what's the difference between the I, I tag and the var tag? So by default, the I tag and the var tag have no differences other than the name of the tag. So the people behind making this HTML uh, language has a set of standards for the HTML code and all of its tags. So in case of the var tag, the standard specifies that the, the variable tag should be used as a mathematical variable. So to give you a more vis better visual reference of what I mean by that, so if you give me a moment, we'll draw up a mathematical uh, equation with uh, HTML code. So if you give me one moment, say make a uh, var here, I'll save. Okay, uh, now let's uh, make it more like an equation. X plus Y, okay, we're getting closer. So we make it equal sign and let's say it equals to X plus Y equals 19, we save. All right, so we have a full equation. So if you were confused earlier, the variable tag based on the HTML standard is supposed to take something like this X that's in the variable tag and treat it as a mathematical variable within a program. So I have coded up a, I have pre-coded some programming and I'll write up some uh, more uh, code in order to demonstrate how the HTML standard would want you to use this HTML code. So just give me a moment, I'll be right back. All right, I think we're ready. So uh, you'll notice this box and you'll notice some new text that I added. So for the most part, you don't have to be concerned about this. This is just instructions to solve for X. So what we have here is some JavaScript code. So you'll, no you'll notice there's a uh, very foreign code here and it's in between these two sc uh, script tags we have here. So don't be alarmed if you have no clue what's going on here. Uh, just let me explain. So basically what this does is that it has changed the Y, the mathematical variable Y to a four 
And this X is connected to this input box. So for whatever you have written in this input box, uh, this X will change to this input box. And when it's empty, it'll change back to an X. So let me demonstrate for us what happens when we don't have this program. All right, we get rid of that, we save, it refreshes, and you'll notice right away the four has changed back to a Y. And if we were to try to change the X here right now, uh, by using the input we have here, you'll notice there's nothing happening uh, other than me uh, typing on this input bar we have here. So let's bring uh, the program back into our code. We'll save. All right, and so we have our four again. So now let's demonstrate that this code works the way I've explained it earlier. Uh, and we'll try to solve for x. So if you're familiar with algebra, you would know in order to solve for x, we want to take four away from 19. So 19 minus four is equal to 15. All right, you'll notice as soon as I typed again, as expected, based on my programming here, the x will change to whatever I have written in this input bar. So this was a, quite a bit to absorb. So let me just summarize what we've just done. So what we have done is made this HTML tag called variable, used it in some form of programming here, and treated it like a mathematical variable. And we have followed the HTML standards intended use for this variable tag. Again, by default, this variable tag would be no different from an italics tag, just like this one here. They'll both show italics characters by default and nothing more. So that would mean there would be no programming of some sort by default. It would just show italics text by default. And that's it for this video. If you think I did a good job explaining what a variable tag does, hit that like button. If you think I did a bad job, well, you can hit that dislike button. And uh, if you got any questions, I know this was kind of confusing. You can definitely shoot me a question down in the comment sections below. Or if you have anything friendly to say, you can go ahead and comment. And don't forget, if you think I've earned it, hit that subscribe button. I hope you guys found this video helpful and I'll see you guys next time.